Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bring an object, in this case this person, from this picture and I'm going to drop it into this landscape. Now I've chosen something with a reasonably easy background to get rid of, although it's not quite that simple. So initially I'll use the magic wand tool set to a tolerance of 32. I'll click on the white background, it selects it quite nicely and then before I do that actually I'll change the background layer to an ordinary layer and then delete. This will give me a proper transparent background. I now go on to select and hold the shift key down and keep on selecting the uh, sort of sandy background as you can see here and I'm holding the shift key click 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 and very quickly I can get most of what I want. Now in these areas here on the left and the right and below I know I want everything so I'm just going to switch to the rectangular marquee tool, hold the shift key down and I can easily select uh, en masse just the areas I want. Now I need to do a bit of remedial work so I'm going to zoom in I'm still on the rectangular marquee tool hold the shift key and add as you can see and it doesn't take long to do I'm going to go back to the magic wand hold the shift key and add that'll do for the moment but I need to fix the uh, trainers his feet so I'm going to go to the lasso tool specifically the polygonal lasso tool and what I'm going to do is I need to take this away so I'm going to hold the alt key down and I'm going to do uh, a little uh, click I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to go back to the beginning get a little circle click and see it adds it and I'll do the same for here I'm holding the alt key down to add to the selection okay and I'm just doing this roughly and I'm going to go back like that looking for the little circle see it adds it and I'll do the same this will be quite rough this one here and then this one as well and that'll be fine and then I can go back to the rectangular marquee tool hold the shift key down and start selecting inside or I could have gone back to the magic wand tool or any selection tool I wish to add or take away to refine my selection. Now I could uh, do an easier way. I can go to another area which allows me to paint the selection. So this is the quick selection here, the quick mask mode. So if I click on the brush tool, I'm only painting in black and white and let's make the brush uh, a normal brush there you go. I'm going to decrease the hardness a lot, but it's way too big, so let's reduce it. There you go. You see something like even less. And if I just paint, I'm I'll go back and take that off and let's scroll back there. There you go. See, I've now changed my selection. So I'm going to go back here. So what I want to do is take away from my selection Yes, because I'm not on the select tool anymore, so I need to use the eraser. So let's go increase that. Because I'm painting now, I'm not in select mode. And so what I need to do now is I can zoom in using the rubber and the brush size. I'm using the square bracket keys on the keyboard uh, to edit the size of the brush. And here you can see now I can paint in or paint out in this case the selection and the shortcut key is Q so I'll press Q and I can see the dotted line Q again if I paint in Q Q and if I do an undo there you go and I can just start rubbing out and if I fit in view 
Now I don't need all of this uh, obviously so I'm going to press Q again and you can see the dotted area this is this is all transparent anyway so I can just do a delete just a backspace and I can just deselect uh, command D or control D now to see what I've got I can hold the command or control key down on my layer thumbnail and I should get a dotted area around everything that's selected and I'm looking around the rest of the document I can't see anything around here so now I can do a copy I can go back here and do a paste and here is my new object I'll click on the move tool drag it down here and now I can do command or control T I hold the shift key down drag it up click and drag in I'll move it over there press return now you may see an edge the the picture is uh, limbed by uh, sort of different pixels which came in from the original uh, picture and it doesn't quite fit here so to get rid of that I've selected that top layer, the new layer, and I can go to the layer menu and all the way down to matting and defringe. I'm going to choose three pixels and keep an eye on the edge of the person. And as I do OK, you'll see it cleans up the edge quite nicely. I'll do an undo and then a redo, undo and a redo. And you see it works out quite nicely indeed. The hair is not perfect by any means but again it just depends on how much time I want to put in so again I can use the uh, rubber make it smaller and I can just spend time uh, painting out what I don't want or I could have done uh, a bit more in the original and if I zoom in just to see the hair up here we've got select and mask this was the old refine uh, select and <clears throat> I'm on the uh, refine edge brush and if I click and drag around can you see how it fades out the brush is a bit big but I'll get like a sort of uh, opaque edge which is quite nice and there's some various settings I can play around with uh, make it smoother feather the edge shift the edge which might be a good idea to uh, help get rid of edge pixels depending on what I want uh, to do and I'll uh, zoom out and the other thing you can do of course is to make it fit is you can go up to image adjustments you can do a levels or curves to make maybe the brightness a bit better to fit the image it's in and indeed you can even then go to image adjustments uh, do a color balance maybe or a hue saturation all these sorts of things could be used to make what you've copied and pasted in uh, look more uh, part of the the new image as though it should have been there mm -hmm.